Here are some ideas on how you might use the MDW DRC2 native for drum buses. It is, after all, the holy grail of compressors. I'll start by playing a track, and then I'll dial in some settings from default on the DRC2. Okay, and I'm going to start to bring in some uh, dynamics. I'm going to start by finding the threshold, and then I'm going to bring up the main to add low level gain below threshold. Here's bypassed, and let's start playing at the verse, then we'll turn it on. Well, it clearly brings it up too much, so we're going to cut this back, and then we'll have a little bit more control over it. Then we'll adjust the timing. Notice that it brings up the highs. Here's bypassed. Unbypassed. Or is it just bringing up too much attack? Let's try speeding up the timing and see what that changes with the attack on the snare. That's fast. Here's slow. We'll do it again, starting with fast. Here's slow. A bit of difference. Let's start with something that's in the ballpark of 200 milliseconds release. And then let's bring this up a little bit. Okay, and let's bring the threshold down a little bit. Okay, it's a nice snap to the snare drum. Let's see what the peak override does. We'll start with the default setting. Make it a little harder. Let's hear too much peak override. Well, that's what it does when you have too much. Okay, we're pretty close. 
close to what I originally had. So I'm going to go back to my sample. I think that's the sound. Let's pull it back in the mix a little bit. A little bit more peak. I think that's the sound. <laughs> 